Hey Panthers, a lot of interesting things have been happening at M5 over the past week. From the PSATs, to fifth graders coming over here, to Halloween, lots of things have been going on at M5. I think it's now time that we had a relaxing show. This year has been a really great year for volleyball. The team that we had this year was amazing. It was one of the best teams I've ever played with. So obviously I'm really sad that I don't get to play with these girls again, but I'm also really glad about how far we came together. Like, we, we started off the season not so great. We weren't really clicking, and throughout the year, we got to click, and we, it showed on the court. Like, we started playing better, and those girls mean a lot to me. Like, I love them all, and I'm so glad that we get to spend the rest of the year together, and I'm going to come back next year and support them in their games, and I hope they know that because I love them all, and I like to see them succeed. The captain, number six, Jasmine Taylor. <laughs> So, Coach Sam, she is one of my favorites. She taught me a lot. She always knew how to pick me up when I was down, her and Stuart, and I just loved being coached by them this year. This was my last year of playing volleyball and it honestly makes me really sad because I love the sport. I just, I love the vibe that everybody brings. I love the mentality that we keep. I love how strongly everybody stays together to play the game. And it's just really sad that like this is my last year. M5 Volleyball to me, we're family. And like starting my freshman year, I knew no one at the school really. I didn't have much friends, but volleyball brought that to me. Like everyone in volleyball was so friendly and we all got along. Like we were able to just play the game and not focus on anything else and play for each other. Hello. Me and members of the Amplified News Crew tagged along with Link Crew for the day to help guide the fifth graders around campus for a while. And speaking of the fifth graders, I have one right here. Hello. Uh, I'm not a fifth grader. I'm just a really short high schooler. Uh, the event was about getting fifth graders and taking them around campus, showing them what high school is really about. Link Crew's involvement was basically to tour them around and like make sure they're comfortable and having a good time and basically like just showing them campus. I think the fifth graders took home like a lot of new knowledge and a lot of like more excitement about high school because they were like all for it. They were excited. They were happy. They were asking questions and it was pretty good. My plans after high school um, is to basically, you know, go through the traditional route, except this time I'm going to Pima, because honestly, um, <laughs> I'm not about to get myself into thousands of dollars in debt yet. So after high school, I'm going to be working still, getting the money like that. Biscuit boy over here, Red Lobster. So the best part of my high school year will be working with Mr. Wickens, because like, he's like the best teacher I ever have so far. My favorite moments in high school um, were Definitely joining the marching band for all four years. Shout out to G, love you, man. Um, also, my favorite moments were meeting all the new people that I wasn't able to meet through middle school, meeting all of my favorite teachers. Sadly, not all of them are here, but yeah. 
A uh, college I want to try to commit to is Pima right now, but later I was thinking of getting into the U of A because they have a really amazing law program, and I definitely recommend it. A college that, the college that I want to go to will be ASU. The reason why is because U of A is kind of old now for me, and it's basic now, so I want to try something new. And it's Syria. And this week's story is Girls Basketball. We interviewed two girls from the basketball team. Here's what they have to say. Hey, hey y'all, it's basketball, basketball season. season. Tryouts are Monday through Friday next week, 4 to 6. Hey y'all, it's Kiana. I'm on basketball team or whatever. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so make sure you guys are cleared and we're going to be doing a lot of things together like as in team bonding and we're, we're trying to fundraise a lot so make sure you guys are ready for fundraising too and make sure you get your parents to come out to our games because we don't really have a lot of supporters but this year it's going to be different, we're going to have a change and just be prepared, you know, and bring water, please bring water. Hi Amphi, last Saturday in this very gym, about three dozen high school Spearline programs took part in the Spirit Cup. Teams competed against each other where they got a competitive experience to get prepared for the real competition. So this year's competition team is way different than last year's competition team. The dynamics, the people on the team, I have two freshmen this year whereas last year my youngest was a sophomore. I have people that are very experienced in competing and some people have never competed before ever. Hey, Sage, look. My class rank is a 69. Oh, that's not really good, Alex. You should try getting it up. I'm a 10. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> Sage, you're in this class too? Hey, Alex! Sage, look, I'm still at 69. Really, dude? I went up three spots. In fact, I did so good, I might get free tuition at U of A. Really? I have to pay like 11,000.